happy Thursday. So today, um, I'm leaving on Friday to Tally to go to my parents. So today is just basically like, I'm gonna clean up, do some returns. I never got to film my Shein video yesterday because we just were like out so much today. So I'm gonna film a haul. I'm probably gonna do a TikTok. I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I got in from Shein and the Fashion Nova bathing suits that I got. So one second. So, this is all the stuff. Fashion Nova, I guess they accidentally put in a double order for me. So I have like three bathing suits that are just like replicas of stuff that I got. They actually sent me four, but the fourth one wasn't in my first order, so it's not a replica. But anyway, I have like three of the same bathing suits, so I'm probably gonna put them up on Depop. If you want them, go check them out on Depop. They'll be up there. They're literally, I'm literally not even taking them out of the package. They're brand new. I'm gonna show you guys all the bathing suits I got. I got this cute little like brown ripped bikini. You guys know I love super teeny tiny bikinis. I got this in a medium. And these are pretty tiny, so hopefully this, they don't cover. That is a replica, so I have, if you want that, it will be up on Depop. I got like this little cheetah print, teeny tiny Brazilian bikini. Is this cheetah? No, is this tiger? Tiger? Yeah. I'm really not a tiger print person, but Fashion Nova has like not a lot of cute bikinis in my opinion, so I just took everything that was tiny. Like, they all have a lot of um, Brazilian cut bikinis, which is really surprising considering it's Fashion Nova, but I basically was just like, anything that's Brazilian cut, give it to me. So this is also a replica that will be up on Depop. I got like another little slinky bikini thing. This has like the longer tie straps, which typically I don't like these bikinis with the long tie straps on them. I usually just cut them off. But this is like another little cute one. But the top is a lot larger than the other little brown one, which would be better because for some reason, I don't even have that big of boobs, but something never tends to fit my boobs. So. And this is the last bikini that is a replica. It's like a little cute. I'll have on the side what they look like because you really can't tell by what I'm holding up. But it's like a little brown bikini. I hate these one tie side bikinis. I just realized it's a one tie side bikini. I don't understand that. It's really strange to me. But whatever. And I got like this cute little ruffles bikini. I wanted something like cutesy and kind of girly. And then it's just like a regular bikini. It, this is a little, a little bit more coverage than I usually like. But it'll do. I can kind of pull it up my ass. Lately, I've been super into this, like, electric blue and, like, royal blue and stuff. So this is a cute little... Let me show you guys. Cute little top, like that. And then everything on Fashion Nova is these little side dangle things. I hate that. I typically don't like it. It just drives me nuts. Almost Brazilian. Almost tiny. I would like it a little tinier, but it'll do. And then I got one of these crochet bikinis. I've really been wanting a crochet bikini. Especially because we're supposed to be going to Mexico for my 21st this year, as long as COVID allows it. Still a little larger in the back than I would like, but it's cute. Last one is this little pink one. I love the style of these bikini bottoms. I don't know what to call it, but it just looks so, like, regal, I guess. I don't know. I think it's really cute. And it's just, like, a basic little tie top like that. I needed some more bikinis because I have a ton of bikinis, but it's just, like, I haven't had bikinis in a long time since I stopped doing swimwear on my page just because it was attracting too many men and I was having a hard time figuring out how to shoot it without it looking like too sexual just because of my body type. I wasn't taking on any swimwear collaborations but I really needed some more bikinis. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Oh, I got these cute, cute shoes from Shein. I've been loving these like little, I don't know what to call these. These are like the... 70s mom chunklas. I got these pants from Shein. They're like these brown. Apparently skinny jeans are very much so out, which I'm really glad because I'm really not into tight stuff anymore. So they're like mom jeans. This little honey shirt. I swear everyone in their grandmother has this. I was like, oh my god, everybody has this shirt. I don't know if I want it. But at the same time, I was like, I really don't care if everyone has it because I think it's cute. So. Everyone must have good taste. <laughs> and I got this skirt. I've been dying for like a cute, nostalgic, like 90s print, like this skirt. And this is a mesh skirt. I'm noticing like I cannot fit the fabric skirts. This is, let me see if I can show you guys. This is actually going to be short enough on me because it's just too often that skirts are just not short enough on me. But I'm realizing I'm going to have to keep going with like these stretchy, fabric y kind of sh skirts because I got a fabric one from Shein. And every time I get like a fabric structured one, Besides the black one that I had, that one fit really well. But usually they just don't fit me, I don't know why, so. And then I got the cutest little short set ever. As soon as I saw this, I was like, yep, I need it. 
I'm super obsessed with green lately. So I was like these cute little shorts like that. It has like a little cardigan top. I thought that, like this little set with the little white heels would be so cute. And I got this cute little blue skirt. I wanted like a little cute blue dainty skirt. I'm really into like little like cutesy things right now. My style changes all the time. Like like for winter I was super into grandma style, but now I'm like really into like little girl clothes. So yeah, that's everything that I got. Look rough. Hey, don't you look beautiful? Look rough. Beautiful. The website I have pre-order initiated for when the stuff goes out of stock. I have hiccups right now. For when stuff goes out of stock, because the waist trainers sell out so fast. It shows a pre-order badge on the initial pro product photo on the website. It'll show a pre-order button when people do pre-orders, and it'll show a pre-order when they check out. And then it also t tells them the estimated day that it'll start getting stripped out. I do all this and people still sometimes do not see pre-order. I don't understand how. So, welcome to being a business owner. People are just not going to look. Go boss. And when I do the Shopify app video thing, I'll take you guys through all of this stuff and we'll explain everything because it's really complicated. It's not complicated, but just it's a lot of stuff to go over and I don't want to talk about it in a vlog because not everybody's going to be interested in that. So. Okay, so I'm gonna do my makeup. Like I said, my skin has just, it's, I know it's because I've been eating dairy literally for like the past month. And normally, like when I was first starting with my skin journey, it would be like my skin would flare up from any little bit of dairy. But I started, I guess my skin started to get a little bit more acclimated to it. So I could eat dairy every once in a while, but I've literally been, have been eating like dairy almost every single day for a month. So it explains why my skin has just blown up that on top of the vitamins. Lately, my skin just feels so dry. I'm using the Murad um, Nutrient Charged Water Drill Hydration Moisturizer. I'm going to try to moisturize my face a ton. I'm just so, oh, it's just so dry. I literally have like this giant pimple here that I've been popping and stuff, so. I already told Curology, I mean, not, not Curology, Apostrophe. I reached out to pre Apostrophe and told them I need to go back on my prior, like, acne fighting medication to try and get this back under control, and I will not be having any more dairy. I think, like, no more dairy, no more meat. And I'm gonna go back a little bit on my vegan stuff, because. So, I mix this with, let me see, can I put this here and it not be in the way for you guys? So you guys can see. So I use the NARS concealer. Not the NARS. I talked about this with you guys already, didn't I? Just the mix of these two together. This I used to spot treat. I have to order some more. I forgot to order. I tried to order and then like it wasn't taking my PayPal. But I need to order some more because Becca is shutting down in September. And this is literally like the thickest, most high coverage concealer I've ever seen in my life. It will cover everything. I just hate buying makeup and stuff online like I, that I don't know my color. You end up wasting it. I don't even know if I can really return it. I, I would feel kind of bad returning concealer to a dying company. <laughs> Take like the NARS concealer. I the lady tossed me into this. I told her I needed a very high coverage concealer, and she's like, "Yeah, this is the one." While well, she was so busy telling me the entire time that she typically doesn't like women with hair like mine, but she likes my hair. It's this is like a very light concealer. I don't find this really. This is for like highlighting and stuff. This is not for like literally concealing. I take my fancy. God, I'm so happy to have a new one. My other one I literally had since, I don't even know. I think I've had that one since maybe freshman year. So I'm finally getting a new one, which is like well needed. I forgot what it was like to have 
it's like a product actually. <laughs> Tried and true contour palette, so I've never changed my mind to go to any other one. Yeah. I'm gonna bake my eyes with the Fenty. I don't wanna waste my time. I've just been going really light on my eyebrows lately just because I've just come to terms with the fact that I have small eyebrows. No matter what I do, I'm just gonna have small eyebrows. I was putting like castor oil on them every single night and they grew a little bit, but it's just too much at this point, so I just I'm not gonna be doing the most anymore. Just kind of fill in the front because it's a little sparse up there. I just put on the setting spray. Like it dries on pretty wet like this, so I have to like tap it in more because it kind of gives a greasy look. I have the hiccups again. I'm about to shoot some home content, so I have to shoot this like the collagen powder that I showed you guys that I was using, which was really good. Um, I have to shoot that for this company, so I am I have to sit back on my teeth. So I'm gonna do. That really quickly, I'm gonna change the bikini. Hopefully, we can shoot it in the house. And I don't have to go anywhere. Because I need to send that content in for approval. I need to get my braids redone soon. My hair is coming out on some of them. I was really torn apart at the apartment trying to get this photo. Today is just like I'm not I'm not feeling very confident with my body or anything like I told you guys I've just been going out to eat like every single day. I haven't been on top of my um, diet or my routine or anything. It's been showing in my body, so that's really why I've been trying to avoid bikini stuff in general. Cause it just, as you guys know, I do suffer from body dysmorphia, and um, I have had an eating disorder in the past. So some days are just not easiest for me and today I have to shoot bikini content and that's one of the hard things about like being a content creator is that there's just literally there's you can't just be like oh I'm not feeling it today well like you have to get it done so plus we just couldn't get the shot um like on the counter I don't know it just wasn't working out so right now I'm trying to just shoot it in the mirror Really fast. It's hard because when you're when you're like showcasing stuff that's like about transforming your body or whatever, like this collagen um, powder is great. I've, it's done really really well for me. Oh my god! We have turned this into a self shooting thing. This is also the bikini confessional. It's super cute. I cut this though. So that it would be a little bit better. They gave me two products that I tried. These are the deep bloat pills. These deep bloat, deep bloat pills actually work really great. I feel like it's gonna be more fitting to my feet to like shoot in the brown bikini with these. 
collagen powders. Collagen powder still works really, really great too. So nobody thinks I'm lying. I do use this stuff. These Depot pills are amazing. I swear by them. Yesterday I was like majorly bloated. The reason I'm just like not as toned as I usually am is because like I said, I just have not been on top of my diet, but. Getting back in the gym today, back on my cardio. I've just mostly been doing strength training. And it shows. I'm gonna use Lens Buddy. I literally have to take my light up. Also, all of this is being done while my apartment window is completely open. This is so embarrassing. But I'm gonna put some pants on. This is, I'm not doing this with my apartment window completely open. This is just nuts. Huge giant window that's literally right in front of the leasing office. I think I got it though, so that's good. I'm kind of happy they turned out kind of cute. I'm gonna crop them and like add like a little grainy, cutesy filter to it, but and I'm not exactly 100% happy with how my body looks, but that's okay. My body goes through changes, so preaching to myself. But I'm gonna look through these real quick and then I'll show you guys what I chose. This is pretty much what I got. Once I edit it, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Once I edit it, they'll look a lot better. Ooh. Took forever, only took like five hours to do. <laughs> I was kind of worried about it looking too sexy. That's why I put like this top on. So that's always my problem is that things end up looking like too sexy, but I think it looks really cute. Oh, I just wish this would focus. Let me see. It's like overexposing, hold on. I think it looks really cute so once i edit it because i i'm gonna crop it to where you don't see like it's gonna be like that to where you don't see like all oh, my leg but you get the vibe i'm going to put everything back and um i'm gonna go to the gym good morning everyone so today is friday i am going to my parents house today but I'm not leaving till the afternoon. Right now it's um, 11.22. I've been up since like nine, but um, I just need to do my makeup and everything because I am gonna shoot a haul today. Which hopefully it's not gonna take too much time because I have to drive up to Tally, which is like a four and a half hour drive. So I need to be out of here by at least like 2.33. So I am just gonna like clean up the house really quickly because things are crazy because of the pets and stuff. And um, I have to call my apartment to see if they can send an exterminator while I'm gone and nobody's in here to hopefully... I don't know if I want to tell them that there was, like, fleas in the house because I feel like maybe they'll, like, charge me or something. I'm not sure. Either way, like, obviously it needs to be done. So if they're going to charge me, then I just have to handle it. But, yeah, um, that's pretty much the plan for today. I'm going to maybe try to film a TikTok as well if I can get through things fast enough. But, um, yeah. That's, it's just like me trying to rush to get everything done and pack up and leave in enough time. And then when I get to my parents' house, it's just going to be a whole lot of work. And um, I'm going to try and work and relax at the same time, but I highly doubt it'll happen. So, we'll see. This is what I'm having for breakfast. apartment is clean i had to clean the thing the couch because it was just so messy and nasty but i cleaned up the kitchen a little bit my room is cleaned up so i am about to start my shein haul i think i'm gonna pick out exactly what i'm going to show because there's just so there's just so many clothes that i bought so i'm going to kind of figure out what i'm gonna see i'm also gonna need to clear out my closet i'm obviously not gonna do it today because i'm leaving but I have like all these coats and I live in Florida. 
I just really want to like wear these like super amazing cold <laughs> outfits and I have all of these coats that I picked up like over the course of a couple months and I'm just not gonna wear them anymore there's obviously several coats in here I haven't even worn I literally have a fur coat in my closet I don't think you guys can see but I have this fur coat that I got at Goodwill that I just swear I'm gonna use one day I guess when I start traveling which I have not even done but I don't know if I want to save them for next winter or something or just like even if I start traveling because I really do plan to start traveling especially um I have to go to London soon for my um agency so I don't know I think it's cold there is it in London is anyone from London let me know but I just don't know if I want to save them. I might put them in storage or if I'm just going to get rid of them and like restock everything next winter. Because they are taking up a lot of space. And I'm obviously not touching that now because it's literally summer. We'll see what I can do. But anyway, I'm going to get started. So hopefully I finish in like an hour. Okay, so turns out that I was not able to film my Shein haul because... The lawn guys decided to come and literally blow leaves for like two hours. So now I have to leave, but um, I put on this little, let me see, I put on this little set from Forever 21. It's like this little ribbed black set. And I've got my little Princess Polly chunkles on that give me an extra two inches. They're so freaking cute. Why is this not focusing? There we go. Yeah, this is like a really nice comfy set. Good morning everyone so obviously I did not leave yet um just some stuff happened last night and yesterday afternoon there was just too much going on for me to leave so I am leaving today I got everything situated yesterday there was like a major issue with the like our international orders with the business and I basically spent all last night up until like 2 33 o'clock at night trying to finish it so this morning i got up with lucy and we did our best to resolve it as much as we possibly could so i'm about to put everything in the car and go so that i can get there on time i have to stop and get some food for my dad let's see how it goes i'm so tired i have so much homework to do today's saturday okay so as you can hear my uncle's crying i am now on the way uh, I'm not supposed to stay there until 8 o'clock at night, so it's going to be a little bit of a drive. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I just want to go to my parents' house and just chill out and relax. I don't really want to be shoving a camera in their face. My dad is very big on privacy. I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you hate Opal crying in the background so much. 
and make sure to subscribe let me know if you want me to do more vlogs like this but i'm very excited to come back monday so i will see you guys next time